See this place? The name over here, the ocean over here is Kai Ai Kanaka. Spooky, you know. See how the water, eh? But the more rough, more spooky, more fish. But now I, I, I look at the fish you've been catching, it's getting smaller. So the earth is telling us, pay attention. You know, we're going to be like the dinosaurs. <laughs> Poof, be gone. My name is Kelly E. Williama Iowane Jr. So my grandfather, he teach me that pattern, that evolution, uh, it's a cycle. Because of that, we recognize our rhythms in relativity to the earth. But when, it's, when the life is smooth and you glide, you, you, you find your content and you relax more often than not. So that I learned from my grandfather. I don't consider myself an activist. I consider myself a regular Kaneka who never get captivated. But we would resurrect the Hawaiian culture that uh, we, we supposed to have uh, put away. That now that is knowledge now. Uh, ancestral knowledge, which is important. Passing down uh, awareness, awareness of your surrounding. First, how they, how they are Keke Oka Aina, and how uh, Aina and the child, the Kanaka child, is, is, is family, and um, realizing that one, we are captured Kanakas, you know, uh, where we at, and how we fit in the schematics of being uh, annexated. And how do you find your freedom within? That is knowledge. You know, and that you pass on to your children. So when I see them over here, uh, holo holo, make me feel good. Because tonight I'm going to eat holo holo. When I see the, the next generation over here, that's how it's supposed to be. So uh, if in my days, when you fish over here, whatever trail you use, you give that house first. Then I go and then uh, take care of my elders. Then the leftover is for me. So when and I see this boy here, I say I'm happy. That ongoing process is still occurring.